Good morning and welcome to Christ Church Bolton as we gather for a time of prayer and worship on this Friday in the week of Epiphany. As I was preparing this morning for worship, I was reminded of how our worship is framed on a model that we actually received from our Jewish roots, the belief being that no matter the day, no matter the trouble or the good that it might bring, we must always begin each day with an act of praise, an act of thanksgiving to God. I remember in my first parish, I had a, a man in the parish named Dick Clifton. Dick was well on in his 90s. He was terribly and painfully crippled by arthritis. The reason I mentioned him, I was always so impressed with him. He said to me all the time, every morning, when my feet first hit the floor, I say, thank God, another day. And that is what we do as we take this time in prayer each morning. We come before God. We begin with praise saying, thank God, another day. And then we take time to consider scripture and to offer our prayers to God. And so let us pray. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is our refuge and strength. O come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is our refuge and strength. O oh, come, let us worship. Now let us hear God's word to us in Holy Scripture. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. This entire commandment that I command you today, you must diligently observe so that you may live and increase and go in and occupy the land that the Lord promised on oath to your ancestors. Remember the long way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness in order to humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandments. He humbled you by letting you hunger, then by feeding you with manna which, with which neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted in order to make you understand that one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Psalm number 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity. Who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit. Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy who satisfies you with good as long as you live, 
so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him, as far as the east is from the west. So far he removes our transgressions from us, father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children to those who keep his co covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you, his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. A reading from the letter to the church at Colossae. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy our brother to the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. In our prayers for you, we always thank God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. You have heard of this hope before in the word of the truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as it is bearing fruit and growing in the whole world, so it has been bearing fruit among yourselves from the day you heard it and truly comprehended the grace of God. This you learn from Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant. He is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, and he has made known to us your love in the Spirit. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord fully pleasing to him as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the light, the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Lord, may only the truth be spoken here, and may only the truth be heard. I think that my wife would likely tell you patience 
is not my strong suit. Once I have set my mind on a direction, I want to be there. I want to be there immediately, and I have very little patience for the things that get in my way, and particularly very little patience for myself when I'm unable to accomplish things as quickly as I want to. But I have to say, I believe that I came by that lack of patience naturally. I think back to traveling with my parents as a child, and particularly my dad. We would go in the winter to spend a month traveling around Mexico and exploring. But on the day that we were going to leave, we would get off the school bus and my mom would immediately feed us an, a large meal. She would have a cooler full of all manner of food already packed in the car along with all of the things we were going to need for our time away. And around five o'clock on that Friday evening, we would head off. We would cross the border at Windsor. And apart from times to stop and fill the car with gas, we would not stop at all. My mom and dad would switch off driving and the next stop would be the following night late in Brownsville, Texas. When my dad decided it was time to go on vacation, there was nothing gonna stop him from getting to his vacation. And it was true on the return trip as well because when vacation was over, by God, he was gonna sleep the next night in his own bed. Paul, might well have been speaking directly to me in this letter. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from God's glorious power. And may you be prepared to endure everything with patience. Patience and endurance are big challenges for me. I imagine they're likely fairly large challenges for most of us. And yet, Paul points them out as gifts, as strength for this life of living a Christian life. He's telling us that this life we have connected ourselves to through baptism is not a sprint that can be done in one quick run. It's a marathon. It's a marathon that we're gonna carry on through all of our life, a direction we're headed, but without knowing exactly how far off. And we require the endurance and the patience with ourselves to just keep journeying on day by day. But because patience and endurance are challenges for me, the next statement really caught me. While joyfully giving thanks. Patience and endurance are usually a source of stress for me, not a source of joy. But Paul also calls us as we run this marathon of faith to keep in mind the end we're headed to and in so doing to be able to capture joy even along the long path and to give thanks. As we continue our marathon of faith today, I pray that you might have that patience to keep running, that endurance not to give up, and that in recognizing that we are on that path that leads us ever nearer to Christ, 
that you might have time to stop with joy and give thanks to God today. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. we take time now to offer our prayers to God, let us first take some moments in silence to offer before God the names of those for whom we pray today. I ask your prayers once again for Brandon, who is in McMaster Sadoke Hospital, still recovering from brain surgery. your prayers for Lou and Nell, twin baby girls still in the neonatal ICU in Kingston. Eternal God, you create us by your power and redeem us by your love. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves today in love and service to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from the assaults of our enemies we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversaries through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Creator of the universe, the light of your glory shines in the darkness of our lives. Make us attentive to your presence, prompt to serve you and ever eager to follow in the steps of the one who is our true light, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, the wellspring of life, pour into our hearts the living water of your grace. By your light we see light. Increase our faith and grant that we may walk in the brightness of your presence through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting one, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Eternal God, who by a star led wise men to the worship of your Son. Guide by your light the nations of the earth, that the whole world may know your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the 
Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit.